Alright folks, welcome to Let's Play UF Alien Head Aftermath. Or no wait, no UFO Aftermath, sorry. It just looks cool being an alien head. This is Quick Mind. Um, this is a game that was brought up to me, uh, I don't know, someone asked if I was going to do a Let's Play on this game, I don't know, some time ago, and I said I would think about it, and then finally got it back, and um, started playing it again, and man, after after up, updating the game to uh, version 1.4, wow, this is totally a different game than uh, when I played it several years ago, so I think I got this right after it came out, I think, and oh my goodness, this was such a hard game. Oh, it was ridiculous. Um, needless to say, I think the first time I played through it, I ended up just using cheat codes to beat it, because it, it was buggy as heck. Uh, let's take a look at some of the settings real quick. Uh, let's see, yeah. Okay. Let's turn that back on. Um, I think we're good for that. Okay. And let's see what games. Okay. So let me create a new profile. Let's see, there's the default one. Uh, let's see. Let's blah. Sound a Klingon. Okay. Um, okay, I'm going to start in America. Um, not just because I'm an American, but uh, that's kind of generally the best place to start because of the number of bases, the amount of land to cover, and uh, one of the early important missions in the game is in America. And it's, as you'll see throughout the Let's Play, it's very important uh, to be able to get to your missions quickly, or as quickly as possible. Uh, Europe would be kind of a, a very, very close second, because it's a little more uh, dense, and there are a lot of bases there. Asia uh, would be, you know, obviously the third choice. Um, it, it wouldn't be too bad, because there's another important mission in Asia, but it's after the one in America, and by the time we get there, uh, it, it won't be too bad. So uh, we'll just we'll stick with America. I guess I'll try normal mode. Um, I beat it in easy, and it's still a really hard game on easy mode. But I'll try normal, and um, yeah, yeah. It says here the this is how challenging the game is going to. Oh, no, never mind. I thought they meant that's how it's supposed to be, because I was like, wow. Uh, easy mode's not exactly easy. Okay, new game. And play. Play also loads the uh, last game saved. Okay. Uh, do we want to run the tutorial? Yes, we do. Because actually we get a little bit of experience and an extra soldier, I think, if we do do it. Uh, by the way... I think, in my opinion, this game has incredible geoscape music. Or I guess in this game it's called uh, uh, Strategic, whatever. But uh, I really love this music. But we'll try the tutorial out. Uh, it gives you information here. Uh, not really all that important, to be honest. Uh, a little, little bit of the objective. And then, you know, hit continue to continue. Yes, sir. Oh, that's going to be real annoying, by the way, folks. I think I can disable it. Uh, I'll take a look at it later on, but... Yeah, this is going to be really annoying. Alright, here we have the welcome window. Only a handful of people survived after the alien attack. Uh, Malcolm McLean is one of them. And we have... Uh, he has a shotgun and a 
Colt. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, we're going to be fighting some transgenants, which are uh, basically mutants uh, that are naturally from the Earth. Alright, so we need to get him to the green outline area. Okay, and this is just telling us how to use the controls for the camera. Uh, giving orders. Uh, here, uh, you see your uh, time in the top left corner. Uh, this is kind of like a pseudo real-time game where you can stop and give orders as, as a turn-based game, but once you get time going, everything starts moving in real time. There's really no turn-based stuff to it. Let's uh, see. Da, da, da. Yeah. Okay, so this tells you how to give them orders. Alright, so I can rotate the camera, you know, stuff like that. Pretty neat. Uh, I need to use the keys on the keyboard to, uh, to actually move the camera. I mean, I can try to go to the edge, but I'm playing in window mode right now because uh, my recorder doesn't like this game in full screen. And, you know, in the heat of the moment, if I'm going to move quick, I'm going to come right off the screen and I won't be able to move. Alright. So, pretty neat uh, graphics, too, by the way. Pretty good. So, here's the objective. We got to get uh, Malcolm over to this green box. Oh, and you can double click on uh, Soldier to zoom in on him. So, what you do, and you, you give multiple uh, orders, uh, and uh, they'll f try to fulfill them in order. So, you know, I right click here, and there's this path. That's the quickest path he can get there. I can click again. You know, I can set up a whole bunch of moves. I think there's a limit. I can't remember how much, though. Okay, maybe not. Uh, let's see. Push uh, Shift C will uh, remove my last uh, my last order. Okay, and then C removes all of them. So just push C. That's weird. Shift C only does the last one. I thought it. Uh, let's see. Oh, here. Okay, it only lets you go back one. That kind of stinks. I I never realized that. All right, so he's gonna move there, and then he's gonna move there. Uh, down here, the stars. What level he is? You gain levels, and you can uh, you can upgrade the attributes you want on your own. That's just pretty cool. Uh, the, how many? Like how much time it's gonna take to do it? So about 14 seconds running on uh, normal time. And uh, right now, whether he's uh, running or walking. So oh, uh, this means aim shot. Uh, well, the shotgun doesn't have auto fire, so you can't change it. But if you were to click on it, another icon would show up showing auto shot. Uh, this red bar right here is his health. Uh, this red color is just designating him. Uh, every uh, soldier here has a different color. And this red bar down here at the very bottom of the weapon, that's how much ammo is uh, remaining. So I'll just push space. And let time There's go. There's one. All right, so we already spotted an enemy. All right, you can change uh, whether you want the game to pause if you see someone. I usually let it so it's easier to respond. Now let's see. Okay. So here's the dangle flying up here. It tells you uh, what happened, and this is the message log. Uh, this means I can't hit him yet. I can target him, but I can't hit him. He's too far away. So I'm going to just keep going for a little bit. Okay. Alright, I just paused it. Alright, so now I can target him. Now get that little percentage a little clear. If I were to stop right now and shoot, I'd have an 11% chance to hit him with each shot. 
That's not very good, and that's pretty darn close, too. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop. Okay, now if I shoot, I'm going to have 16%. So let's start with that. And uh, all you have to do is right-click once to get him to start shooting. He'll start shooting until he's either disabled or dead. And even then, once once in a while, the soldiers will keep shooting even though they're unconscious. So, let's go. Right. We just killed the first enemy. They drew first blood. Okay. And by the way, the shotgun is extremely powerful, but you saw how close I had to get before I could even use it. Uh, here we have an item. Let's head on over. We need to unpause. And by the way, uh, even though we don't hear it, everything makes sound, and that helps, uh, or that that can hinder your uh, your stealth, and that allows uh, your enemy to observe you a lot easier. And when you're running, you make a lot of noise, according to this. And you also observe less while you're running. So if you're running, then uh, you might miss enemies, or you. You know, you might not see them till they're right up on you. Alright, we found someone else. So they're uh, unconscious right now, Brian. And uh, we're going to run up and heal them. And even right now, if I right click on them, here's the equipment screen. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move the shotgun into his backpack and move the med kit up and click done. Now he still has a shotgun now. What I did was I added more orders uh, to his queue. So um, now uh, to complete it all it's going to take five seconds. And what I can do is I could even right click Brian and have, him, have Malcolm start healing him because uh, technically, by the time he gets here and does this last order to heal, or to interact with Brian, he already will have the med kit out. Now, let's see. You know, I never use this. Uh, I'm not... It could be useful, I don't know. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't know. I never use it. Alright, so we acquired Brian. Alright, so he puts his shotgun away, gets the med kit out, and now he's going to start healing. Okay. Just keep queuing it up. All right, so Brian's got a got an Uzi submachine gun, which means he can use the auto fire. Uh, that does more damage, but it's less accurate and it shoots uh, uh, less further, I guess. Right here, yeah, tells you that. What now, sir? Okay, so I'm gonna finish healing him. All done, sir. Let's do one more. Okay, then we're going to queue up, taking this stuff out. Ready. Alright, and now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the game pausing when that happens, because that's very annoying. So tactical, no orders. Yeah. I might uncheck that too. We'll see. All right, so you can switch Order between the go. two. Ready, sir. Ready. Uh, and then you do Control A to select all of them. 
Ready, sir. Or uh, yes, you sir. can push the uh, tilde key as well. Sorry, I was uh, I was playing UFO Aftershock, trying to uh, see how that game is, and uh, tilde doesn't work anymore. So Brian's quite a bit faster. Now, <coughs> excuse me, I don't know if the game's going to say this, but I'm going to say it anyway. Uh, when you select more than one person and you tell and you give them orders, at each point that you give an order, every unit that gets to the end of that order is going to wait until the rest of them get there before continuing on. So as you can see, Brian's waiting there. If I were to click here... Um, Okay, well, I just actually overruled the previous order. It's it's kind of confusing after a while, folks. Uh, but we'll get the hang of it. Uh, you can, when you give orders and then pause the game and then you give another order, it's going to overrule every order you've already given. It's going to just give you a clean slate. But see here, we'll see Brian get here and then stop before coming to here. He's going to wait until Malcolm gets to that order. Wait now, sir. All right. So it may not seem like a big deal, but it's actually very, very important because let's say uh, there was a there's an enemy here, but you wanted to get closer. So if you went like this and then told him to shoot, well, watch what Brian's gonna do. Brian's gonna wait till Malcolm gets here before he starts shooting. So you need to be real careful about how you plan this stuff. Here's a little board here. Almost looks like, um. Oh, crud, what's his name? I can't remember. Um. But yeah. Uh, let's see. Alright, so yeah, we have to give the order to open the door. That's basically what this is saying. And as far as I can tell, every door can be opened by just right clicking on it after you see the arrows. Um, I don't know, what's his name from 